Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I am going to be doing your July 2021 money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. Let's let the bull sing as we see what the tarot has to say. Aries. By 2021 Money and Career Aries. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Aries. Money and Career Aries. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Aries. July 2021, Money and Career, Aries. Angels and Spirit Guides, show me clearly. Fantastic. All right, so at the bottom is the energy that grounds us during this time. The top is the energy that crowns us. So we have the Six of Swords and we have the Five of Swords. At the top, we have the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Cups. We're too much in our own heads. We're not seeing the blessing that's coming our way. This can be great for business decisions because we can be really, really hard-nosed on things, very much wanting the facts, wanting all the information. But this is also going to be a detriment to business decisions because we're not going to see the blessings that are right in front of us. So this is a double, double-edged sword, and we have a lot of swords here. So that just right off the bat, that's exactly the energy that's coming forward. Let's see what our chakra energy is for this time. Aries, July 2021, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. There we go. Yeah, inner self. Inner strength, inner self. There's a sense, this is the solar plexus chakra. We're coming out of our shell. But what's going to happen here is that, again, we're going to overthink things. We're going to overanalyze. Everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be set up just so. And the really big thing with success is jumping. It's just going after it. It's knowing you're going to fall. It's knowing you're going to fail. It's knowing that the muck in the mire is going to come. And even if you fail, at least you tried. At least you went after it. At least you you went for the gold. And it might not work in exactly the arena that we think it's going to work in. We tend to think, okay, this is where I need to be successful, or this is how success comes in this form, in this arena that I want to be a part of. But we don't look at all the different ways that success can come to us. And we're coming out of our shell. We're stepping forward in a very real way, a very positive way. The solar plexus chakra is saying, follow your gut. We're going to want to analyze everything up and down the Mississippi till there's almost nothing less left to analyze. It's like we have all the information, we have everything laid out, that's great. And we're going to want more, more insight, more, more truth, more power, more everything. This is a time where we need to step back and say, what have I gathered? How have I gathered it forward? And when do I start trusting me? And we might have had some failed ventures before. Lord knows, you know, you don't, you don't get to where you want to be without, without falling flat on your face. But there's a real sense here of, I cannot let that past failure define me. 
And as, and as we step into this power, it's going to be very easy for other people to see our successes, to see our blessings, and it's going to be astoundingly hard for us to believe it. Because we can believe it, we can say, yes, I'm going great, I'm going strong, I believe that I am blessed, I believe that abundance is coming to me, we can work on our energy vibration, we can work on everything that we want, putting into the vortex everything that we want, getting this huge payoff, right? And just visualizing it. And yet, there's this nagging fear that's around us. The sense of, well, maybe I'm not good enough. You know, maybe I don't have enough approval. Maybe I'm, I'm still that scared person that I was when I was 15 years old or whatever age. You know, there's, there's going to be a roadblock that comes in and it's, it's going to take the wind right out of your sails. And that's what we have to be mindful of because the swords are air sign energy. The wind should be in our sails, but we we're fighting battles that we've, we fought before and, and we're tired of fighting them. So let's look at the energy we need to be mindful of. What is the energy that Aries needs to be mindful of? July 1st, July 2021, money and career. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. It's the Queen of Cups. Now, this is water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is somebody who's overly emotional. And we're going to be on the other end of the spectrum. We're going to be the person who wants to be super logical, okay? Super focused. But we're going to be really intrigued by people who are using their emotions, who are using their creativity, who seem to have the answers that we're searching for. But they're going to be two on the other spectrum. They're going to lead us on the other swing of, of the pendulum. And that's going to be too much the other way for us. We need to find this balance during this time. And that's what's going to be really important to us as we're moving forward. Where's my balance? Where's my harmony? Where is the bounty that I want within my life? You know, and how can I, and how can I get myself there? How can I embrace this, move me forward and get to where it is that I want to be? Because the Six of Swords, and I love that we have this countdown here. We have the Six of Swords and then the Seven of Swords. The Six of Swords is taking our information, taking our knowledge, and moving us forward. It's saying, I want more. I want to see more. I want to experience more. I need more. And the waters are rocky. This, this is a sense of taking that gamble, of saying there is more to me than meets the eye. I have to go for it. And we are going to feel at this time, logically, that I have to have everything all laid out to go for it. And then we're going to get to this point where we're just frustrated. And all of a sudden it's like, I just need to go. I just need to do. I just need to see what will happen if, if I pick up that paintbrush and start painting, if I open that book and, and read that knowledge and, and saw how it could lead me forward. If I started writing, you know, things myself, if I took out a notebook or got an old notebook or any notebook off of Amazon or wherever, and I just kept my ideas in it. And they might be absolutely crazy, wild ideas. And it might become a notebook of dreams. Like, what do I dream of doing? Where do I dream of going? How do I dream of getting there? And I know this is talking about money and career, but if we let the creative side of ourselves out, if we stop being kind of assembly line programmed, that we have to live a certain way, that we have to have certain jobs, that we have to have this cookie cutter sense of success and power and, and bounty. And we say, well, what if, what if I take what I know and I go in a different direction and I let myself express and become and embrace what if, and as we do this, we're, as we're brave, we get smacked in the face as anybody does when we're brave and we're standing on the precipice of something greater. The five of swords comes in. This is something we've experienced before coming again, hurt, pain, disappointment, fear, overwhelmingness. These are people coming into our lives where we thought, oh, I thought I was done with you. You know, I thought you weren't going to be here anymore. And it's thinking, can I do this? Can I move forward the way that I want to? Can I express myself the way that I want to? Do I get to have the ideas that I want? And what's crowning us, you know, there's this battle at our root and what's crowning us at our crown is the sense of God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, cutting through doubts and fears, helping to, to come to realizations and saying, this is what I've worked towards. The swords are the 10,000 hours. The swords are the time and the effort to become a master because back in medieval times, only nobility had swords. It was actually a punishable crime 
to own a sword and be a peasant. That's why you see in paintings of uprisings, things that I always thought were so weird when I was little. I was like, why are they uprising with like a pitchfork and a, a, a shovel? You know, why not carry a sword or, you know, some sort of weapon like that? Because they weren't allowed to. And so you have the Ace of Swords here. It's like this gift of being able to arm yourself, being able to be empowered and emboldened and to move forward with knowledge and wisdom on our side. And this is cutting through the nonsense. And this is even cutting through the nonsense within our own minds to be able to see the blessings that are around us, to be able to see what we wish for coming forward. We're so busy guarding what is most sacred to us, we forget to bring it out of the closet, to bring it out into the light, to be able to see it for ourselves instead of sitting before it. Others look at us and they see it and they think, oh, wow, you got this. You know, you know, Aries, how great you are. And they'll be surprised to realize, no, no, there's doubt and there's fear and, and there's, and there's hardship and there's, you know, timidity that's holding us back. And this is a time where we say, no longer, no longer am I held back, no longer am I denied. Now I move forward. Now I need to. And there's going to be this urge inside of us to move towards something greater. So let's see. Let's go deeper. Show me more deeply. Show me deeply. Aries. Money and career. July 2021. Show me deeply. July 2021. Aries. Money and career. Angels and spirit guides. Ooh, right here. Right away. There we go. I love it. Again, too, everything is balanced during this time, too, too, too. We have the Knight of Wands and we have the Page of Cups. We are represented by the Wands in the Minor Arcana. In the Major Arcana, we're represented by the Emperor. The Wands are passion and insight and, and, and fire. We are fire sign energies. This is fire. This is the, the passion that lights our way forward. Now, the Ouroboros on his tunic, they're important to note. Some of them are complete, but just, 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 the, the serpent biting his tail and other, others are wide open and it's very much that sense of adolescence or or that sense of young adulthood where you have knowledge and you have parts of yourself that, that might even be wise some might say but other parts of the self that are completely wide open that are completely ignorant and this is going to be ourselves during this time as we go deeper it's like I'm going to charge forward and there are going to be times where we have all the knowledge gathered and we're just starting to dive into that wisdom. And at other times, we're not going to have any of that knowledge gathered at all. But we think, if I don't go now, when will I go? And note that if we're going just for the sake of going for doing something, there are going to be hardships that we face, roadblocks that we come into because we're too rash. But we have to find that balance between being rash and being, you know, kind of foolhardy and planning too much. And, and saying, you know, I'm not ready quite yet. I'm not ready quite yet. I have to know more. I have to gather more. Now, the Page of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. There is a sense here. Now, if you're born on the cusp with Pisces, this part of your personality is going to be coming out quite intensely. Or if you have Water Sign Energy in your chart, there is a sense of the emotions playing a huge part and needing to study these emotions when we move forward for prosperity within within finances. Now, it can be that we have to be very mindful of a water sign energy. energy, And this is saying to us, study that energy, study that person, study that emotional thing that we want to go after and see the root of it. See what's behind it before we put all our money into it or before we invest, before we invest our time or money or, or whatever it is. We're going to find inspiration coming from the most unlikely of places. And keep that inspiration coming in. Keep that sense of adventure. Keep that sense of, you know, diving deeper, moving us forward, because this is going to be a time where it's necessary. It's necessary to see things in a different light. It's necessary to, to plow the way forward and to look at things, not only passionately, not only with the sense of this is why I get out of bed in the morning, but emotionally, this needs to sustain me. It can't be that big, you know, boom, that big fire blast and then nothing. We need to have a steady light forward, steady passion, steady guidance, like a torch guiding the way. Okay. Now our subconscious chakra message is communication, the third chakra. For us, communication is going to be key. We need to talk. We need to communicate. We need to dive deeper into ourselves, into our connection with spirit, but also to the world around us. 
Where do we want to be? What do we want? And when we come to the table with things, subconsciously we're going to be picking up on everything. We might leave conversations thinking, I got nowhere, whereas the person leaves that conversation thinking, wow, that person really paid attention to me. That person really knew what I wanted or we were on the same page. We're going to be picking up every nuance that they're not saying everything that wasn't meant to come into this reading, the, the aura of the person, the energy, just the simple, you know, kind of makeup of that person at this moment, whether they got into a fight with somebody, whether they're, they're feeling a bit sluggish, that comes forward and that we have to be mindful of, that it can make us view, view situations so much more critically than the other person does. It leads us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of, and that is the moon. Again, Pisces energy coming up. Time frame is February 19th to March 20th. And this is a sense of fear driving everything. And it is going to be so easy, as Spirit said in the very beginning, for us to get in our own heads, to be totally hyper involved in things and to have the subconscious and the conscious self be at war, be doubting, be fearing, being overwhelmed. And there's a sense that we have to be, and I know it sounds funny to say to you, Aries, be a little bit more disagreeable because Aries can be very disagree disagreeable. And you might be saying, you know, no, if I'm more disagreeable, Dane, I'll lose all my friends. I'll lose all my, my coworkers. Nobody will want to speak to me. But what spirit is saying here is stay to your guns, you know, stay to what you desire, what you want, what you need, and, and hold true to this, not in a belligerent, hurtful way, but in a way that is very focused, very driven, and very much in line with where you are now and where it is that you want to be in the long run. This leads us then to our subconscious rooted self, which is the Ace of Swords. Subconsciously, we have more knowledge to us. We have more empowerment. And I love that we have the Ace of Swords in, in, both, in both decks. So there's a sense of knowledge coming through, of cutting through those doubts and those fears. Wisdom is coming in. And this is the time, the effort, the hurt, the pain. It's all starting to pay off. And it might start paying off in a very slow way, in a very slight way that we say, oh, what's the big deal? The big deal is that knowledge is coming in, is that we're able to see the path forward. Whereas before, all we saw were thorny bushes. And you might be saying, what's the path then? What's the way that I'm supposed to be moving that I'm not doing right now? And this is saying we have to get out of our own way. This is saying that we have to connect with spirit, that we have to say what brings joy into my life, what, you know, what moves me forward? What am I competitive about? You know, where do I want to be? Why is this competitive competitiveness coming up in the wrong way and not manifesting in the right way? so we can push the envelope, so we can get to where we want to be in the long run, so we can see what it is that we desire and what it is that we want. It leads us then to our subconscious emotional self, not emotional self, a crown self, which is the king of cups, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, again, coming through. Now the emotions can drown us during this time. We can go from being super logical to being super emotional and being caught up in other people's emotional battles, emotional, you know, goals during this time. Be very, it, they're going to be very alluring to us. The King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, the King of Cups says, embrace your own prosperity. Embrace what you can rule, which is only yourself. You know, I, I see this with my nephew all the time. He's, he's two and he's stubborn and disagreeable and an Aries, <laughs> you know, which is funny right now to think about it. And he knows what he wants and he's so driven. He's so focused and he's so young. And I've come to the conclusion that the only person I can control is me. You have to make sure that he's safe, but he has such a will and such a focus that he has to be able to explore. He has to be able to, to look at things in different ways. And we're going to see that as a primal sense of ourselves right now. And that's something that I greatly admire in him. I wish I could be more like that. And so here during this time, when we say Aries, the only person that you rule is yourself. It's like, you are that emperor on that throne. You are that person claiming your gift and your bounty. And no one should be able to knock you from that throne, knock you from that which is most sacred to you. And the, and the King of Cups subconsciously is crowning you, helping you to embrace that truth and that prosperity of being. Now, to go deeper, our subconscious message is the Ace of Pentacles. 
God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you a gift of prosperity, is handing you a gift of bounty, is moving you to that next phase, to the deeper planting and deeper understanding of the seeds that are wanted and the, the bounty that we're moving forward in and the blessing that is coming. And that that's a game changer. This is a game changer subconsciously. As we go deeper into ourselves, we're going to see a bit of information. That's why Spirit says, you know, keep that notebook on you or, you know, record your ideas into your phone and just see where they take you. See what seeds are coming your way or what ideas are, are coming to you that need to be nurtured instead of, I'm guarding this and I'm not going to touch it because I just want it to be on display. It's like, no, 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 no. Let's see our blessings. Let's see our passions. Let's see our powers. And let's see how we can encapsulate them to what we want now and to what we're bringing forward into our lives. All right, Aries, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the bounty that is coming our way. So take a nice deep breath in, Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Aries. <laughs>